Hi, I'm Jason Vogel. I'm the president of Boulder Mountain Bike Alliance. Uh, we're standing here today in front of Boulder High School where the final uh, public hearing for the West TSA, which is uh, an open space planning area for um, where do dogs get to go, where do bikes get to go, what areas are we going to protect, the whole gamut of, of issues on open space. Um, for all the open space west of town between uh, Linden Drive all the way down to Eldorado Springs. So it's kind of an amazing turnout. Uh, there must be uh, many hundreds of people in there all flying different stickers and buttons. I've got a couple on myself. And uh, of course I'm here representing mountain bikes. This is the end of a uh, about a two-year process for us of trying to get some access in the West TSA where bikes have historically been banned since 1987. Um, we're hopeful that we can get a couple of really small connectors to help us recreate from town and get to the places we're already allowed. Um, you know, there's some controversy about that and hopefully we can dig into the substantive issues and try and solve those problems instead of having to revert back to a, an all or nothing kind of paradigm. So I'm, I'm, I'm cautiously optimistic. Um, not that I'll necessarily get to speak. I think I'm speaker 112, although I have friends that are 170, which I think puts them somewhere around 2 or 3 a.m. Uh, when they get to speak. So that gives you some sense of just how much interest there is in this particular plan. And is there anyone here who wants hey. to sign up to speak that has not, time? not like it's your last chance? We um, just want to get the numbers up there for them. Here's your anyone? I'm uh, Dick Harris. I'm very involved with an organization called Save Open Space Boulder. Uh, we formed spontaneously when we heard that folks in town were interested in riding their mountain bikes on a large fraction of the trails in the West TSA, close to the developed part of the city, uh, where we find that it's too congested with hikers to have it be safe for mountain bikes to ride along with people. And we also profoundly believe in the main purposes of open space, which are preservation. And while we're aware that it's allowed under the city charter to give bicycles special permissions, we don't think this is the right place to do it. There are lots of places to mountain bike in the open space in Boulder. Um, they just don't happen to be in the West TSA. Um, it, it is claimed that uh, it's not fair that bikers can't be in the West TSA, but I think hikers would tell you that they can no longer comfortably hike in Marshall Mesa and Dowdy Draw because the bikers um, are of too big uh, concern to them. So uh, anyway, we're opposed to bikers and we hope tonight uh, to make wonderful persuasive remarks that will cause the council on the 30th of March to reserve the ban on bicycles in the West TSA that's been in place since 1967. Here's where we are, is we've had this process for 70 plus weeks where we have been trying to gather information about the West TSA, find out what people's likes and dislikes and that kind of thing are. We're trying to get as much public input as we possibly can. And the reason for that is because the West TSA is I can safely say that it is Boulder's favorite part of the open space and mountain park yeah. system. Big issues are bike, dog, and horse issues, and it's a lot about access. The open space mountain park staff is presenting what it's come up with so far for a plan for recreating in the West TSA. Assessment of this, we looked at considerations such as the improvement to the mountain biking experience, visitor conflict, trail sustainability, And then they're going to think about it for a couple weeks. I'm sure there will be more comments and more articles and letters to the editor and that kind of thing between now and then. And they'll make a decision at the end of the month.